Okay, so let's take a look at this question where we're asked to, to prepare the adjusting journal entries. So we are given a partial unadjusted trial balance. And um, the first question says, prepare the adjusting journal entry necessary to show the inventory supplies on hand at December 31st is $820. So this problem takes a little bit of explanation. So if we come up here and we look actually at the um, unadjusted trial balance, it's saying that we have $4,360 worth of supplies on hand. Now that would have been the balance that's showing in the books, but is not reflected in the actual amount of supplies that are on hand of $820. So what that's saying is if we look at the difference, and I'll get out the calculator here, if we take the 40, excuse me, 4360, and we subtract the $820 that's actually on hand, it says that we use during the month $3,540 worth of supplies. So we need to adjust our books to reflect the supplies that were used during the month. And I'm sure you're all familiar. The company buys a bunch of supplies. They stuff them in a stock room or a closet or something. During the month or for a few weeks, people go in, they take printer paper, um, toner cartridges, staples, pencils, pens, and all those out. So someone goes in, takes a physical count in order to replenish, and that's what's happening here. We had at the beginning of the month or sometime prior to the end of the month, 4360, now we only have 820. So the journal entry to reflect that is just to show that the supplies were used, which is what we call supplies expense. There we go. And we will debit that for 3540. That means my expenses, specifically supplies expense, is going up 3540, which is going to actually decrease our equity because remember expenses decrease equity, but the actual supplies expense is going up. And then we're going to credit our supplies, which happens to be, you can see here, the supplies on hand. So that means that my asset supplies is going to be decreasing by 3540. So if we didn't record this journal entry, my net income would be overstated by 3540 and my assets would be overstated by 3540. Let's take a look at the next one. Prepare the adjusting journal entry necessary to adjust prepaid rent at December 31st if the prepaid rent amount in the partial unadjusted trial balance above represents one year's worth of rent that was paid in advance on September 1st. Okay, so let's get the calculator out again. Okay, so if we look up here, our prepaid rent is 2640. So they're saying they paid a whole year's worth of rent in advance. So we'll divide that by 12. That'll give me the monthly amount. So $220 a month they're paying in rent. What a great bargain. And that rent payment was made on September 1st. So it's now December 31st. So how many months have gone by? September, October, November, December. So four months have gone by since they made that annual rent payment. So $880 of their rent that they paid in advance has expired through the passage of time. So that was to calculate the monthly amount, then times the number of months that have gone by since they purchased that or prepaid that rent. So very similar to what we had above, we're going to debit the expense account, which is rent expense to show the amount that has expired. And then we will credit or reduce the prepaid rent by $880. So the expenses are gonna go up. My equity will go down because of that. Remember, so will our net income. In order to calculate net income, you take your revenues minus your expenses. And then my asset, prepaid rent, will also decrease. So you can see why it's important to make these journal entries. If we didn't, our financial statements would not be accurate and up to date. Let's prepare the adjusting journal entry necessary to adjust unearned revenue at December 31st if 50% of the amount shown in the partial 
unadjusted trial balance has now been earned. Oops, sorry, typo there. Looks like up here too. Um, So let's take a look. We've got the unearned subscription fees here, $26,000. So that means that the company was paid in advance, which is why it's called unearned. So they were paid in advance for services to be rendered going forward. So it's some sort of subscription. So they've earned some of that. So we want to show this unearned subscription fees is a liability, but they perform some of that. So we want to reduce that liability. And the way that we reduce liabilities is with a debit because they carry normal credit balances. And that would be for 50% of that 26,000. And then we're gonna credit, in this case, the revenue because the company has earned it. They have provided their service or the subscriptions, 50% of it. So the net income will go up for $13,000 and their liabilities are gonna decrease by $13,000. All right, one more, one more. Prepare the adjusting journal entry necessary to accrue salaries earned but not paid as of December 31st. Since the last day, last payday on December 25th, the employees of the corporation have earned additional salaries in the amount of 16,440 that will not be paid until January 8th, the next payday. Well, this is quite common. As you know, most of us work, say today, but we're not gonna get paid for today's work until maybe a few weeks later, unless you're getting cash kind of under the table. Um, most of us only get paid once or twice a month. So let's take a look at what that journal entry is gonna look like. So the company needs to record the salary's expense in the month when the employees work. So that's gonna be in December, even if we don't pay our employees until January. So that's because we want these expenses to offset the revenues. So we can say revenues were earned during the month, and in earning those revenues, we incur these associated expenses. Uh, so that was $16,440. And then we will also record the liability now because we're going to have to pay our employees $16,440. So in this case, our expenses are going to go up for $16,440 and our liabilities are also going to increase. Now, when we pay our employees next month, we will debit the liability salaries payable. That will reduce it. That'll wipe it away, and then we will credit cash. That's it. Thanks.